everyone my name is vara and today we are going to continue our chapter time this is the part 4 and we are going to learn time duration in hours and minutes this is that topic we are going to discuss so today we will discuss about duration what is duration so according to your book according to your book here it is already given okay here it is already given i hope you can see it see the time taken to finish an activity is called the duration so what is called a duration did you understand okay let let me just explain it to you so see the time taken to finish an activity okay the time taken to finish an activity like if i start my work start my work or any drawing at 9 am at 9 am and see i am using am okay and end it at end it at um 11 pm sorry am 11 am so what will be the duration so the duration is how much time is taken to complete an activity time taken time taken is what we say duration is so time taken is 2 hours so that is a duration not 9 to 12, 11 but 2 hours just count in hours or if it is said to be in minutes duration in minutes it will be 2 hours in minutes 2 hours in minutes is known as okay 2 hours in minutes is what 1 hour 60 minutes 2 hours 60 into 60 no 2 hours 16 into 2 so that will be your 60 plus 60 also you can see so that will be 120 minutes right 120 m so that will be if the duration says in hours format or in minutes format it's depended in the question itself so now let's see it in a clear and a best way okay. so see now let me just take about the situations in your book it is given so see here on this page there are some situations you can see so we will understand those situations and understand and talk about each situation so see let's first read the introductory part the time taken to finish an activity is called the duration of the activity some activities like drinking a cup of milk and washing your face take a few minutes just take a few minutes while some activities like traveling from one city to another can continue for hours okay so that is the duration as i said before duration is in minutes or in hours but here it was in hours because 9 i'll when a painting takes few hours because to get the perfect art to hit the perfect painting drawing anything just you need a 1 hour you study for 1 hour study duration study so what to understand duration better try to list in the notebook try to list some of the activities that take few minutes and that take some hours or few hours okay so let's go with our example 10 what is said in the example 10 we will understand it now wait a minute let me just it is the board but the duration is what just what the from one activity from uh, like how much hours minutes doesn't activity takes now see example 10 it's given like this right example well 10 example 10 is shanu left home left home at 8 it uh 805 m or 8 hours 5 minutes m or 8 5 m and reach to the school at 9 10 m how long did it take from for him to reach the school so see 8 5 m 19 m 9 hours 10 minutes 8 hours 5 minutes 
so what will be your solution for this example 10 now the solution it is given 8 5 m 1 hour to 9 5 m 5 minutes add 5 minutes right so it will give you 9 10 m so shanu takes 1 hour 5 minutes to reach school right so like this some type of diagram is given in your book some kind of diagram is given in your book but say no to this step no 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 see what you can just to understand it duration it is so you can just say left left okay what what time did he left at 8 zero five a.m he left and reached and reached reached at wait i will just accept our drawing dots i will write that 9 5 m right 9 5 yes so 9 5 film so what is the duration of sorry 9 5 not 9 10 so 10 9 10 m so you have to calculate the duration so duration is equals to 8 9 10 minus 8 5 so you can get this if you subtract you will get your answer that is 1 hour and 5 minutes let me just write 1 hour 5 minutes or 1 like so you can draw it got it so like in several ways you can explain how it is so there are several or many ways several or many ways okay now we will understand uh, another example so we have example okay then we are done with i hope you understood the example 10 now let's see our example 11 okay so shall we see let's see it so take a look at the example 11 now so see in the book it is given Deepak left for shopping at 8 10 am and returned home at 1 40 pm. How long did he did Deepak stay out of the house? Again, in your book. Don't think about your book. Again, there is a subtraction. There is an addition. Okay. Wait, enough. You can just find the duration in the example element is there. Like this. Left. Return. You can write like this is a key point. You have to write. Now, this is what we will do in word problems. This is the wrong way by doing the word problem. But still, we are understanding duration. So, in word problem, you have to write uh, like some definition stuff. So, in the word problem, whenever we solve exercise 3.4, that time itself, I will tell you how to do these words problems. So, you have not taught the word problems of second lesson, first lesson. I was thinking good problems will not be important. But still now we will go how our book says. Okay. Home little left and duration. Duration should be at last and base. You have to write duration at top and then this there. Your marks will surely get cut in my test. I will take a test right. One day I will take a test of course. And uh, in another video I will just uh, take it in uh, the description box. So in that I will just give you. How it is okay or the solution okay and now here left returned duration so you are going to not have a test okay after this whole syllabus is complete I will take a test like whenever you were example be so see there's a review time you have to do after the chapter I will make um, I will make a video on this review time one another video on review time and mental maths and that we will cover and you have to try some questions okay you have to try some questions about among them now see left home returned home and third duration you have to find out these three things left home was at left home was at what time let me just see the example <laughs> well, left time was 8 10 uh, reaching time was now here am and pm is the most important part 8 10 am and because you should know like 1 am is always so if you don't write the units you will count till 1 am or 1 pm okay so that's why now so here you have 8 10 he left at 8 10 and reached at what time mm, uh, 1 40 1 40 pm see 
we have reached PM, not M. So, 8, 10, 2, 1. We will just minus it. Okay. We will minus it up. But in your book, it says 4 hours, 90 minutes. Equals to 4 hours, plus 60 minutes, plus 30 minutes, 5 hours, 30 minutes. Okay. So, see. How? We can do it like this. So, see. This is our clock. Now, this is the next paper. We just subtract, find it. But, it won't work. Okay. I guess it won't work. So, see, here 12, here 6, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is the method I used to follow when I was a kid. Okay. Whenever I wanted to find the duration of time, how much time I took, I will just do like this. This is my clock. I left at 8 to 10. Okay. Imagine if I left at 8 to 10. So, what I will do is, so I will go at 1.40 and see how many minutes. See, I will just first count hours. How many hours and then I will go on next straight line. So, see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 hours. Okay. Now, I know there are 5 hours I have spent. But this 10 minutes and that 40 minutes will make it. How many minutes? So, see, 5 hours. So, here. Now, here 10 minutes right there. Right? 10 minutes. So, what I will do is 10 minutes. Plus how many minutes? Sorry, 40 minus will be so 40 minus 30. And then you will get the answer 30. Yes, that's given in your book. Yes, 5 hours, 30 minutes. And you will make can follow this method. Except this method is the biggest. And I used to do like this. Uh, I used to do like this uh, when I was a child. And what I would do is now on the clock I would see and just start counting minutes all these minutes hours and all these uh, exceptional things i will just come to them okay now that's it uh, okay now let's see that's it now let's go for the example 12 anuj will, i won't write it now example 12 anuj anju starts her work at 9 20 am she worked for six hours 20 minutes what time did she finish her work so here you have to add see six hours after 9 20 am will be is 3.20 p.m. 20 minutes after 3.20 p.m. is 3.40 p.m. Thus, Anju finished her work at 3.40 p.m. So, this is just in this duration calculation. Duration calculation. You just have to what do is add, subtract. Okay. Now, you are still not going to be clear because in this example, they have not given it clearly to you. But whenever we will solve the exercise, I hope you will understand it. Okay, I hope you will understand it. Um, today itself, it will be not coming. This video will not come. It will come at night or tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow itself. So, um, on exercise 3.4, it will come tomorrow. This video will uh, get to tomorrow. And I will also, okay. And then, um, okay. And uh, we don't have, uh, we will not make videos on the Sunday. Okay, you can just enjoy your day, right? So, on uh, like on daily basis we will just continue maths now any other subject will not come in the middle but still i am trying to do if any other subject one topic can we discuss one chapter we can discuss so we will try to discuss because other subjects are the main subjects are important okay so and you have to solve the review time of first second chapter that is most important in review time we will get uh, like uh, IMO questions again okay that's also true you may get some difficult questions that are like a little difficult from our chapter from our exercise questions so you have to practice that questions i hope it is really clear the time duration duration just is to calculate from this to this how many hours minutes have you spent is known as the duration just we understood the students saw some three examples on it okay and in this way we end our video here okay then